We need to start getting some seat time. Not this kind of seat. Well, actually there is no seat in this thing, but we need to install the seat so I can get some seat time in Crush. Now there are a couple things on the crush list. One of them include filling up both the rear and the front differentials. As you can see, these are the CV axles right here, brand new CV axles, heavy duty CV axles. Well, where they connect into the differential, I replaced those seals. And when I did that, a little bit of fluid came out. We're gonna fix that. Got that one, time to move to the front. So Crush has been apart for a long time. We had to wait on springs, powder coating, shocks, uh, parts, 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 and parts. So what I think is best for the whole situation is to start at the back where there's the less components and work towards the front where we have the front assembly and all that going on there. Like my great grandmother always used to say, take it by an inch, it's a cinch. Take it by a yard, it's hard. She was awesome. a big jigsaw puzzle. Now I, I haven't put a lot of puzzles together, but I have put a few together. And this is just like that. The only difference is instead of having all your progress when you walk away, imagine somebody like your little sister, or your little brother, or your girlfriend or boyfriend comes along and takes a few pieces off and then randomly scatters them somewhere. Now that's not literally what's happening, but that is what's going on in my brain. Don't worry though, we'll be riding Crush very, very soon. Just like that, I pressure washed all the wheels, then I broke the bead using my homemade bead breaker that I put on the back of my truck. So now it's time to start spooning. These guys spoons. Front wheels are off. It's funny, you'd think after doing one, the second one would be easier. It's not the case with tires. They can be a pain or they can give you a nice easy time. It's always, always different. Now for the back ones. that I showed you guys earlier. I need to go get some valve stems for them. However, Max has sent another package so I kind of want to open it up right now. Bunch of stuff, holy smokes. A clock, a book bag. That book bag's awesome. That pocket will be perfect for my camera that I'm filming on right now. There's something in here. Yep, I knew it. So it looks like the Maxis team sent me quite a bit of stuff. They sent me multiple, I think these are Ford Raptors. I got five of these, so if anybody wants one of these, leave it in the comment section below, I'll send you one. They sent two shirts. <laughs> it's got a wrench and a screwdriver for the hands. I just got my valve caps, I'm vlogging it up in the Duramax. I also got a battery for this camera because my other battery was dying. We can't have dead camera batteries if we want to make a 3D Machines production, that can't happen. I have the first rear tire on, so that's about what it looks like. 
I think it's the exact same thing as that tire. This is what a lot of racers do. They run all the same size around the entire machine. I originally was going to rock the exact same size tires that were already on Crush. And when I told Maxis that, they suggested that I run the exact same size around the entire machine. They make a living doing this stuff, so I'm going to follow their instructions. I'm not a tire expert, they are. Now here's something that happens to a lot of off-road vehicles. You can see that there's dirt in there, so this tire kept on leaking. Or you can just go ahead and hit something sharp a couple times, and that might cause your sidewall to leak too. Got all four tires on all four wheels. Excuse Crush for looking like a hovercraft right now. I just want to point out something and then we'll start throwing these tires on. I got a broken CV mount boot protector. It's supposed to look like this. I got that in the mail as well. And then I was missing three hubcaps on this thing. They look like that. I got all three of those in too. Let's put these things on, yeah. It works. Holy smokes, this is huge. I forgot how big Crush was. He's had tires off him for such a long time that when he had no shocks in him, he was sitting right low to the ground, but now he's sitting up in the sky. Slightly lower though from when I first bought him. It's times like now that I'm reminded that they do call these things cars for a reason. They're they're pretty big. And you got a victim, passenger, I mean. We'll go ahead and torque these lug nuts down. Take it outside, pressure wash it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited about that. Me, myself, not in particular. David T, I also like your torque wrench. Thank you very much. I love when you guys can help me out on a project. It's very thoughtful and I appreciate that. Yes, Crush is a little dirty, and I have a feeling after I pressure wash him, I'm going to be a little dirty. You know, that stuff spits back at you, it's no good. It's like you go to a water park, but it's a muddy water park, thanks to that thing. I just installed the fuel tank, we kinda need that to move. Oh, she's full. Let's see if I remember how to turn this thing on. We're definitely gonna have to take off our e-brake so we don't stall it right out. Probably gotta connect that for real. I can't just probably leave that sitting there. Probably start arcing and then shock me when the water hits, I don't know. Okay, we have juice, we have brat juice. And we're in diff lock. I don't think we need to be in diff lock, but we'll, we'll turn this thing on first. Oh yeah, that, that made a cool sound. It was thirsty. See if this thing even starts anymore. Yeah! Oh yeah, let's go wash it! Unfortunately, I couldn't make Crush extremely clean because for some reason my power washer stopped power washing. So the inside's clean, but not like 100%. Tomorrow I really want to get some seat time in. Jake and Seth are currently racing. Maybe my girlfriend will go with me and be my passenger. Seth's been in it, Jake's been in it, Jason's been in it. I don't think my brother's been in it. My dad hasn't been in it. He just stopped by and checked out Crush while I was washing him. He says everything looks really good. He liked how the springs came out and the rock rails came out. Now personally, I don't think I have to put on my protectors, like my like my skid plates and my mud guards, whatever these things are. Maybe these are considered skid plates too. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother putting those on for tomorrow's ride, strictly because my girlfriend and I aren't going to go anywhere where we're going to get stuck. At least that is the plan, because if we get stuck, we're screwed. Extremely screwed. And we've gotten stuck every single time we've ever gone out together. Hopefully this time we can break that. Because land that we're going to, nobody really rides it and there's a lot of acreage. A lot of acreage. It's getting late. I just got the passenger side completely done. Seats installed. Plastics are installed. Big orange wing installed. Now time for the driver's side. Usually I'd complete my side first, but since I may be taking my girlfriend, ladies before gentlemen.
Crush is completely put back together. He's looking extremely sharp. We got that wrap kit in, and I'm excited to install that too, but we're not going to do that tonight, or probably not the following day, because we're not worried about looking good just yet. We got brand new tires to give us good traction, good control, and then we got brand new brakes and rotors for those same things. So we have the perfect combination to avoid trees, especially with those things. That's like just in case you get a little sketchy, then it redirects you, it's okay. I didn't put the last little hood scoop on just yet because I want to know if my girlfriend wants this windshield on or off. Well, Dalton, what does the weather forecast say? You can kind of plan in accordance. No, it doesn't work like that. In New York State, we're in like the second week of spring. We still have snow. I got my new Crush Orange machine decal installed on the display here. It is looking and matching well. I want to thank all you machines and machine freaks for tuning in and seeing me put Crush back together. Don't be afraid to go to machinemerch.com. Help me keep the lights on. I gotta give a big thanks to Maxis for hooking the machine team up. Their info, like the machine merch, will be in the description. We'll see you later. 3D Machines out.